Hey friends, it's Joe here from the Happy Body Store. Now many people are allergic to sulfa-based drugs and they fear that they can't take the organic sulfur. This can be a bit confusing because there's many sulfa compounds that are similar in name, but they're vastly different in molecular structure. So I'm gonna go ahead and differentiate for you some of these commonly confused sulfa compounds. Now, firstly, sulfur is an element of the earth. It's present in every living thing, in every cell of the human body. It's imperative for normal biological function. The primary placement of sulfur within the human body is found within protein forming amino acids. So insulin is a protein rich hormone that contains sulfur. Glutathione is the major, body's major detoxifier. It requires sulfur for production. It aids in digestion as a crucial component to the amino acid taurine. MSM is one of the great plaque and calcification dissolvers. It helps to break up these deposits that tend to collect in our joints and muscle tissues that cause stiffness and discomfort. MSM is a powerful anti-inflammatory and it's extremely detoxifying, assisting in the removal of potential toxins such as heavy metal deposits. Sulfur is crucial for health and it's simply not possible to be allergic to sulfur on its own. So a common question that we get here is what is the difference between organic sulfur and sulfa? The truth is they are not the same thing at all. Sulfa or sulfonamides are synthetic and they're derived from an inorganic form of sulfur and they're predominantly used in the production of antibiotics. When our bodies metabolize sulfa, it can attach to certain proteins in the body creating an allergic response. Now organic sulfur on the other hand is the natural, fully bioactive form of sulfur that's present in every cell in nature. So just because somebody has an allergy to sulfonamides, it does not indicate that they will have a sensitivity to any other sulfur-containing compound. And we do encourage you to do some research into this subject or discuss it with your doc doctor if you have an uh, allergy to sulfonamides, but the vast majority of those who have an issue with sulfa do not have any problem taking the organic sulfur or MSM. Now, the other sulfur-containing compound that many people have an issue with is sulfites. Many dried, preserved, pickled foods, noodle packets, fresh juices, they all have added sulfites for preservation purposes. Wines have a naturally occurring level of sulfites, but they also have some added for preservation as well. A reaction to sulfites is not a true allergy, but rather a sensitivity that can trigger autoimmune reactions such as hives or asthma. Again, sulfur is not the allergenic component to the sulfites, and just because someone has a sensitivity to the sulfites, it does not indicate a propensity for a sensitivity to any other sulfur-containing compounds. Now, we do encourage you to research into this, and if you have a sensitivity or an allergy, to discuss this with your primary healthcare provider. Interaction. Blood pressure medications, cholesterol medications, arthritis, fibromyalgia, other autoimmune disorder medications, can you take the organic sulfur while you are on them? Absolutely. The organic sulfur does not negatively interact with any other prescription medications, but prescription medications can contain things that can inhibit the absorption of the organic sulfur, rendering it far less effective. So we always advise that you space out your dose of organic sulfur from your prescription medications, by at least two hours to get the maximum efficacy of the organic sulfur. Same with natural vitamin and mineral supplements. Although many of them are safe to take in conjunction with the MSM, they are not all created equal and some contain, contain certain properties that can inhibit the absorption of the MSM as well. So it's always best to give yourself a nice good space between your MSM and dose of any other prescription or uh, vitamin or mineral or anything else that you take. Just give yourself a, uh, a space of a couple hours and you'll be just fine. Now, it is important to note that MSM does have a very mild blood thinning property to it. Many people find this beneficial because it has allowed them to reduce their dose of blood thinner or blood pressure medication. But it's important to note that if you are on prescription blood thinners, to space them out by two hours. We have many clients that are on Coumadin, Warfarin, or other prescription blood thinners, and they take the MSM without issue so long as they adequately space it by two hours. I hope the information that I've provided in this video has helped to clear up some of the common misconceptions surrounding the idea of a sulfur allergy and helped you to better understand the differences between these sulfur compounds. Sulfur is vital for life and it's simply not possible to be allergic to sulfur on its own. If you have any concerns about your specific allergies and sensitivities, most definitely discuss those with your primary health care provider. If you want more information about organic sulfur and how to get into contact with us, 
head over to www.happybodystore.com and you can find out how to get in touch with us. Thanks for watching guys and always remember that a healthy body is a happy body.